today I am going to be talking about sex education and no, before you go, Steph, what are you doing on YouTube? What are you doing this? Why? No, stop, just stop. Um, I am talking about the new show on Netflix called Sex Education. Just going to say, before I start this video, if you haven't watched Sex Education, I'm gonna say a lot of spoilers, even though I said that I wouldn't, but I did. So I'm sorry. I'm sorry for all the spoilers. I am sorry. Enjoy the rest of the video. I'm going to be t doing a little talky video, ask, answering questions, not asking. Um, so yeah, let's get to it. So my favourite character in sex education is Otis. We all mess up and do impure things. Doesn't mean we're bad people. He's probably the main character in the show, I would say. And funnily enough, when I saw him, I was like, he's he's the boy from The Boy in Striped Pyjamas. So if you've watched that, that little boy with the brown hair, who's with the family, um, that's Otis, who, and his name is Asa Butterfield. And then there's Eric. Enthusiasm is more important than technique. And Maeve. What is your thing then? complex female characters. I guess those three are kind of like the main main characters and then you've got lots of other characters that can get, get involved anyway. My favourite scene is probably the scene where Maeve is cold and um, Otis has his little jumper with a Nutella stain on it and brings it out of his bag and gives it to her and she keeps that jumper which is really cute and I like that a lot. Who would I be if I was in the show? Um, I feel like I would love to play the character of Amy. Wow. Her character seems really fun and it's nice to see her relationships of different characters in the show and how she's like a popular but she's not at the same time. And my least favourite character... Um... I didn't like Adam. She's like the Kim Kardashian of tiny dogs. I don't really like Adam. I can see why people would like Adam, but somebody is on the roof. <laughs> why are they on the roof? Okay, um, yeah, my least favourite character is Adam. Loads of people really like the Eric and Adam um, relationship that is brewing, um, but I don't. I don't like it. I don't think Eric deserves Adam. He is scaring me. He's still on the roof. And the people I ship with, I really like, I really hope Maeve and Otis get together. They need to get together. If they don't get together, I am going to be so confused as to why they're not together because there's just been so many moments and I'm just like, get together please. What would I do if my mum was a sex therapist? I understand how you might feel unjustly observed. I don't think I would like it. <laughs> just, it would just be very weird and as like where in our house there's only me my mum and my brother and then my other brother will come from manchester when he's down so it'll be a bit it'll be really weird if <laughs> suddenly a load of men keep walking in and out my house so <laughs> the character i think is most like me i'm going to say otis even though i'm not male but personality wise, we're both very awkward. We both don't know how to talk to someone we like, literally. <laughs> hi. Hey, it's Maeve. Maeve, hi. I need to talk. Yes. <laughs> but yeah, me and Otis are quite similar. 
I wish I had a friend like Eric who's like, yeah, go for it, you can do it. Eric seems great. Do I think Moordale and Riverdale and Greendale are all connected? So Riverdale's another show on Netflix. It's a great show. I love it a lot. Greendale, I haven't watched it, but that's that Sabrina um, show. And then Moordale is where sex education is set like that's the school and the place so I reckon that all could be linked together I really hope they do some sort of like intertwining with all the um Greendale, Riverdale and Moordale even though Moordale is definitely very different to Riverdale and Greendale because Riverdale and Greendale are both um supernatural-ish kind of more violence um sex education they're like hey let's talk about sex baby let's talk about you and me <laughs> they could give a lot of advice to riverdale um and maybe sabrina i haven't watched it so i don't know lastly what do you what do i think season two will consist of i really hope I'm sorry everybody who ships Adam and Eric but I really hope they don't get together. I kind of hope Eric and the other gay guy, I can't remember his name, but the popular one, I can't remember his name. Um, I hope they kind of get together or like they're friends at least. Um, I want, obviously I want Maeve and Otis to get together. I just hope that people's relationships, I kind of want people to mix more. Is he back on the roof? Why is there two people? Why are you sat on the roof? Great Instagram, but why are you sat on the roof? Season two, it needs to come out soon. I really hope it's longer than eight episodes because I watched that in like a week. I know people who watched it in a day and I was like, I can't do that even though I would love to. Overall, I'm just very excited to what it brings. I did kind of like Jackson's and Maeve's relationship but I feel like um, their personalities are very different. I feel like Maeve's it's kind of forced in a way and she said she didn't like she didn't want she didn't like the idea of a boyfriend to, to Otis um, but I think there is a connection between Otis and Maeve. So yeah, that was me rambling on about sex education for a while. I hope you enjoyed it. Those people are still on the roof and it's scaring me. Um, don't forget to check out Sex Education on Netflix. It's great. And let me know in the comments, what do you think? Who's your favourite character? Who's your least favourite character? Who do you want to get together? All that shazam. Put it in the comments below. Let's have a conversation about it. So yeah. Hope you enjoyed it. Give it a big thumbs up if you did. Please subscribe if you haven't already because I'm a, an amazing amount of subscribers and I love you all for it. Thank you so much. There's going to be vlogs coming. There's going to be singing videos coming. There's going to be a lot of stuff coming because a lot of things are happening. So yeah, hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you very soon. Bye. <laughs> when there's a hope, it's waiting for you in the dark. You should know you're beautiful.